In April 2021, Elon Musk received the news he had been expecting and hoping for for a long time. NASA confirmed that they will choose the SpaceX Starship human landing system to land the first astronauts on the moon since 1972. The crewed moon mission is part three of NASA's Artemis program, which will land astronauts on the moon in 2024 after completion of Artemis 1 and Artemis 2. While SpaceX is currently focusing on developing its amazing Starship spacecraft and super heavy launch system with the goal of sending astronauts to Mars, it's good news for Elon Musk, who edged out contenders like Jeff Bezos' Blue Origin and the aerospace firm Dynetics. What is the Artemis program? Artemis is a three-phase program that will culminate in the launch of US astronauts into space for a moon landing. The Artemis 3 manned mission will also make history by sending the first woman to the moon, which will be a huge step forward for women's equality, according to NASA. NASA's main goal is to make astronauts stay in orbit longer and spend more time on the lunar surface, where they will research long-term deep space exploration. This is all being done to prepare for NASA's ultimate mission, stepping foot on Mars. Astronauts to land on the moon after 50 years. For the manned moon mission, NASA will use its incredible space launch rocket and Orion spacecraft, including a lunar lander. SpaceX has developed a variant of their pet project and the Starship space system will finally be pressed into service. The Artemis program will mark NASA's return to the lunar surface after 50 years for scientific discovery, economic benefits, and to inspire a new generation. From now until 2024, the Artemis program will fine-tune precision landing technology and develop new mobility capabilities to enable exploration of new regions of the moon. Artemis consists of three phases, Artemis 1, 2, and 3. In Artemis 1, NASA will send an Orion spacecraft in retrograde orbit around the moon for six days. The entire mission will consist of 25.5 days, during which NASA will study and certify the Orion spacecraft is fit for a manned test mission called Artemis 2. In Artemis 2, NASA will launch the Orion spacecraft and the space launch system that will carry four astronauts around the moon in September of 20. 2023. The week-long mission will perform a lunar flyby and then return to Earth. The mission will take 21 days. While in high Earth orbit, the crew will conduct several tests, like studying the life support systems that will aid in NASA's understanding of the requirements necessary for deep space exploration. Artemis 3's is destination the moon. Artemis 3 will be the final stage in the Artemis program. Four astronauts will take on the lunar mission, including a female astronaut who is set to become the first woman to walk on the moon. While Orion will take four astronauts into space, two will board SpaceX's moon lander or human landing system to land on the moon's surface, where they will stay for around a week. Once the astronauts land on the moon, they will build a habitat, test new power sources, conduct spacewalks, look for power and ice samples, perform scientific experiments, and position equipment on the moon's surface. This will include unpressurized remote-controlled lunar rovers that can be used for astronauts for spacewalks. The extensive program will help prepare for NASA's ultimate goal, which is the exploration of Mars. After a week, the lander will again take the astronauts back to the Orion, and they will return back to Earth. The Starship is a giant compared to the lunar lander of 1969. When Neil Armstrong and Buzz Aldrin landed on the moon in 1969, they did so on a lunar vehicle that stood only 7 meters tall. In comparison, SpaceX's moon lander, which is a variant of the company's amazing Starship spacecraft called Starship HLS, measures a gigantic 50 meters from nose cone to landing legs. It literally dwarfs the 1969 vehicle and is packed with sophisticated technology. A milestone for SpaceX the decision to award SpaceX and only SpaceX the $2.89 billion contract to develop, test, and fly two missions to the lunar surface is a milestone in the history of SpaceX. NASA had considered three lunar landing concepts for the program, but it was the Starship system that was chosen in the end. Lisa Watson Morgan, who is NASA's HLS program manager at Marshall Space Flight Center, said, Today, I'm very excited, and we are all very excited to announce that we have awarded SpaceX to continue the development of our integrated human landing system, SpaceX's Starship is a fully reusable launch and landing system designed for travel to the moon and other future destinations. The Starship HLS the design of the HLS was selected by NASA and work commenced in 2020 with full funding and go-ahead for completion in 2021, ahead of the proposed Artemis 1 launch in November 2021. SpaceX HLS or Human Landing System is the final element in the Artemis program because it will be the last space vehicle in the entire mission 
Falcon to touch down from Orion to the Moon. The Starship HLS is a single-stage crewed landing system that uses Earth orbit refueling of liquid oxygen and liquid methane propellants. Based on the heritage of the company's Dragon and Falcon vehicles, it includes a wide and spacious cabin that provides enough space and comfort for the crew who will board it en route to the lunar surface. The Starship HLS will have an additional payload capability that will allow the astronauts to bring back samples after they conduct their experiments on the Moon. SpaceX is no stranger to space flight. They have been working closely with NASA during the developmental stages of the HLS. NASA experts have been kept in the know to meet the space agency's performance requirements in human spaceflight standards. A key tenet for safe systems, these agreed-upon standards range from areas of engineering, safety, health and medical tech. SpaceX has sent astronauts to the ISS. SpaceX and NASA have had a working relationship in the recent past. In April, SpaceX's Falcon 9 rocket carried the company's Crew Dragon spacecraft with NASA astronauts Shane Kimbra and Megan MacArthur. Also on board were astronaut Thomas Pesquet of the European Space Agency and Japanese astronaut Akihiko Hoshide. The Falcon 9 was launched from the Kennedy Space Center and ferried the astronauts on a 24-hour flight to the International Space Station. Perhaps what made NASA choose the Starship HLS is the ability of the space vehicle to be reused. Moreover, the company's goals are in line with NASA's plan to land astronauts on Mars. The Starship system itself is a gigantic space vehicle that hopes to fulfill Elon Musk's vision of taking dozens of people to Mars for a six-month voyage. For now, though, the destination is the moon and Musk is more than happy to see his work bear fruit. We hope you enjoyed this video and are looking forward to seeing astronauts on the moon again. Tell us what you think in the comments and don't forget to give us a like, click on the notification bell and subscribe to Tech Division.